Hello, this is Double A with another WWE Supercard video. Date is really not important. As most of you are aware of, the ring domination for the team ring domination for this week is postponed until we can, until they can work out some issues. Um, made me want to comment on some stuff. I think I shared this story some time ago, but nothing's going to tell me nothing's going to stop me from telling a good story. But a long time ago, I used to play WWF and WWE with authority. It was a online card game, similar kind of to SuperCard, in which you had superstars, you played moves, you built up to finishes, and you wound up pinning. There would be a multitude of different styles of of matches you could be in. It was pretty fun. It was one on one, and the network was kind of stable. There was a time that the network was was having really serious issues. So they kind of got ahead of it and said, "Hey, you know, we're sorry for the we're sorry for the issues that are going on. Um, we're going to have to take our servers offline for a bit. Think I think it was offline for about 2 or 3 weeks." But they got ahead of it and said, "You know, we're we want to make sure that you have the best experience possible whenever you play so that there's not going to be any issues. We apologize for the time." Um, they had a bulletin board that was set up for people to share tips and talk and all that. So people kind of knew it, kind of understood it, and basically for that two or three weeks, it was kind of long. But people held you know, conversations the way they did before. They shared tips, they shared stories, they shared card ideas, they shared just ideas about the game. Um, people weren't cold, people weren't mean. It's like you've, you rarely ever heard anyone talk bad. Or when they did, they had some sort of modicum of respect for for what was happening. So that when the game came back on, everyone was happy. Everyone went back to playing the way they did before, and life went on. Um, eventually, there was a time when the game company as a whole, this was around the time of THQ's bankruptcy, that I think they went bankrupt. But in any case, they had... They had financial issues, so with authority went bye bye as well as a lot of their other games. But for the time, it was fun. A few years later, we have WWE Supercard, and I've been a player since day one. Although I granted, I admit that I skipped a whole WrestleMania tier based on the fact that I went over to play NBA 2K16 for a while. SummerSlam brought me back. Um. When season three was released, and I mentioned this before on my ladder rant video, but if they basically they said that your rewards for stat for season one and season two would be stacked, so everyone's thinking they're going to be getting a lot of cards, but instead they only got two. Now the reason that reason was given, well, we didn't want to overpower the decks, but of course they give all the they give you the capability of buying elites and and ultimate packs and. They said, well, we're only, gonna, we're only limiting you down to two now. Now, if they knew about this ahead of time, they could have got ahead of it and said, you know, for all you guys in season one, we thank you for your loyalty. We thank you for staying. We thank you for being a part of our family for so long. So what we're going to do is when the game starts up, when season three happens, you're going to get a couple of free cards. In addition to whatever freebie you get, you're going to get a couple of free cards as our thanks for your loyalty, our thanks to you for staying with us. Are things just for being you? But no, it's like they piss people off and say, you know, we're just going to give you two. That's it. And it's because we don't want to be overpowered. We're not going to apologize for saying that you were going to get more. We're not going to apologize by saying, hey, you know, we're only going to give you two. It's your bad luck. But there are those people like me that enjoy the game that are going to keep playing. So, you know, things happen. It's It, it, it kind of reminds me of the Hunger Games. When I forget what that guy's name is, but he decides to can't change up the gameplay, make it a little bit difficult, and you know what happens in the rest of the movie. If you've seen the movie, that is. Um, the now we're getting to the team ring domination. Now lately, they've been advertising this game up the yin yang on Raw more so than I've ever seen before. Now, when season two came out. Um, I remember seeing Paul Heyman stand in front of a WrestleMania Brock Lesnar card talking about the game, talking about Season 2, talking about things. But 
never seen this much of an ad campaign for Supercar for Supercar in my life. Now you see con I see commercials with the Big Show and John Cena. You see them do their print ads on 2K17's pages, saying, "Hey, you want to dominate them all? Come visit Supercar." Now you have all these people talking about it. You have a couple of known YouTubers talking about the game more. You have all these people getting on the game that weren't there before. I mean, who could blame the network? I mean, with the network issues, from what I found in previous games, a good majority of those network issues are basically oversaturation of the network. Because it basically it's the same engine, it's the same cards, you've added three more tiers, it's the same play, nothing's new, nothing's different other than those three tiers. But... I think the issue is oversaturation. Someone once said on another website is that whatever you plan for, plan for five times that much. If you think a million people are going to play, plan for five million so that when it happens, when it starts, then it goes off without a hitch. People are playing, people are happy, they're getting the cards, they're getting the shards, they're, they're just making it happen. That's what, seriously, I think that's what the issue is, but they're not really saying it. They're just saying, oh, it's network issues. But to me, I think it's a matter of of you planned, you've only planned for so many when you should have planned for that much more. Like I said, I speak from game, I, I speak from online gaming experience in computers in general that the only time you run into issues like this is when you have so many people getting online getting online at the same time because everyone's like we're ready we're ready for the first season for the first season game of season three it's team ring domination we got our team set up we've been talking about it. we've been discussing it we've been hyping it up amongst ourselves we're ready to play and the minute it happens boom network issues we try to play again boom network issues I think it's, I think it's a matter of just planning for that and I think, basically, if that's what the issue is, and they have an ideal of it, they should just come out and say, hey, you know, we're, we underestimated the influx of people that we're having coming into our game. Um, we have all the advertising. We realized the word of mouth's been heavy. We knew it was our first team event, and we just didn't anticipate this great demand that you find folks decide to give to us by offering, our, by offering you our support. No, it's, it doesn't happen that way. It's like, Oh, we're just we're just investigating network issues. Um, thanks for this. get ahead of it. Left hand really doesn't know what the right hand's doing. Get ahead of it. Have good customer service skills. I mean, basically, you it could be the issue. You could you basically eat crow. You eat crow. You eat yourself, and then you just move on. But then at least you have an audience that understands and knows and will sympathize with the issues that you're having instead of always trying to push off as something else. Like I remember when NBA 2K, no, not NBA 2K, when Supercard NHL had the issue of, of having free cards for a certain amount of time. It's like, it's the player's fault that they, that they got these cards. It's like, no, it was the fact that in the store, it was free for 30 minutes that people took advantage of and got the cards based on that. They didn't exploit it. It's the it's it's the option that you gave them at that particular time. And it's always interesting on how it's always the player's issues when it's not the company's issues. So if you just get ahead of it, have some, like I said, have some customer service skills and say, hey, you know, this is where we made a boo boo. This is where we. We failed to t we failed to anticipate needs, or we just we just thought this. We it's like they think it's like I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to anticipate the backlash, and when I do, it's like I'm just going to go hide. No, you get ahead of it. You do your spin. You do your damage control, because you know people are going to be pissed. You know people are going to be mad. You know people are going to be upset. So get ahead of it. Granny, if you word it the right way. And you put the right spin on it. You have people that are going to actually love you and want to play your game and be enjoyable. Granted, you're going to have a couple of people that are going to be like, just be. Because people are just going to be angry. Some people are just going to be angry like that. But if you get ahead of it, you give people a better heads up, 
then they're going to be more sympathetic to you. They're going to say, hey, you know, I understand what you're going through. I'll give you guys a break. I mean, I know issues have happened before, but at least you're making me feel appreciated. You don't have gift credits out. You don't have to give free cards out. You just make people feel appreciated. You just make people feel that their loyalty in you is paid back to them. So, that's all I gotta say. When Team Ring Domination comes up, then for sure I'm gonna get play. I'm gonna start playing it. When more when more events come up, I'm definitely gonna play because I because I like the way the game plays. I like the game. I like the work that's gone into it. I like all. I like breaks basically the concept of it. Because like I said, I go back to the With Authority days in terms of playing the card games online. But like I said, if you just get ahead of stuff and put the right damage control on it, your audience will love you that much more instead of turning on you and in some cases, turning on each other. So that's going to be it for me. This is Double A, Albert Gurrier, my WW Supercard video. Good night, everybody.